we'd like to introduce our guest for the week, United Traders resident EST Wizard, who also has a deep knowledge in this week's topic, the blockchain. Nolens, Nolens, welcome, welcome. Glad. Thank you. Here. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I've been wanting to get you on Happy for a while. Happy to be here. You know, the blockchain, the blockchain, blockchain. Um, how would you describe this blockchain? Explain um, it to me like, like I'm eight. Yeah. Okay. Like, you're, like you're eight years old. Basically, the blockchain, it's a, it's a database. Okay. If you think about a bunch of information that's shared amongst a bunch of computers that's interlinked to a network. Okay. This database, it stores, you know, information electronically in the digital format. Okay. Um, the main innovation with uh, blockchain, it just guarantees the uh, fidelity and the security of the, this recorded data, right? And it generates basically um, a trust, okay, be between the entire network amongst these computers without the need of an actual trusted third party. That right there, that's the most important part of what makes blockchain so great. Well, you say you, you say third party. You you mean like a bank per se? Exactly, like um the the typical you know function of business, right? You, right, right. You know, right. you have a buyer, a seller, and then you have a median. Um, you know, like you, you have, have you ever been to an auction, a live auction before? I have, yeah, yeah, I have many times. Okay, so you know you 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 know you have um the person that's that stand you know, stand at the podium that you know that. Basically, it's a median between uh, the said buyer and the said seller, right? Through yep. blockchain, that median isn't needed in, in, anymore, okay? Because uh, through technology, you know, we have this wonderful thing that by design, by code design, it's uh, layered already into the system of, you know, this trusted said rules. And so that's what makes it so great, you know, that, um, you don't need this third party any, any longer, right? So, um, you know, that's the, the main thing which makes blockchains uh, so great. Okay. If there is no, like, bank or intermediary or third party, what makes the blockchain so secure specifically? So the reason why you have these, this name that's called blockchain, um, if you want to think about, you know, a series of blocks, okay, and in between these series of blocks, so they're locked in to one another uh, through a chain. So um, I'm sure you guys, you know, you know, during elementary, you play, you know, games where you all just kind of make this huge circle, um, or even not a circle, a line. You guys will hold hands, you know, and and, and make this very long, you know, um, series of, of 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 kids, you know. So um, it's secure. Okay. So if you think about the first kid, okay, in that line. Okay, and that kid has the original codes um, that is frankly the structure of um, whatever you're going to be using that blockchain for. Okay, and uh, if you're starting at that line in each kid in line that um, connects to it, it follows and also brings bring along that um, that coding with with the, to the next kid. Okay, and so on and so on. All right. So um, each time a new kid comes uh, in, in line of this chain, OK, um, uh, he cannot change the rules. OK, why is that? It's because um, by default of the first kid, the entire chain that we're talking about, the blockchain, it's set by default. It cannot be changed because of this inner system of consensus of agreeing with the original form. Does that make sense? It does, but I wonder about the transparency in validating like, you know, it's security. Like what is there to like show me that that you know these links are interlinked or these blocks are interlinked with one another. How how you explain it, you know, like what is showing me that this transaction went through for this amount? Like how much transparency is involved in this blockchain network and and is it just one network or is it like a web of them uh it, it is what's what's what was um described to me it's a, a linear okay 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 so so just like i said it, it it just starts from one end and it continues on infinity okay um the duration the lifespan of this blockchain now to 
before I answer that, what you're, what you're trying to get to of the security aspect of it, first, let's look at the current system that we have now, okay? And that goes back to the third party, okay? right? Now, with a third party, okay, we're talking about humans, okay? Mm-hmm. If I'm the buyer and there's a seller on one end, I want to sell to that person, okay? Me and the buyer, Okay, I am, since I am, um, sorry, let's say I'm a seller, I'm setting the initial grounds for this transaction. Okay, I don't have to sell it to this buyer. You know, if he wants it, then he has to come to my turn. We can, you know, in some form or fashion, come to a mutual agreement. Okay, but the the, the, the idea of this median, okay, we, as as the seller and as a buyer, we both have to trust in this third party to uphold every aspect of it. And when we're talking about, um, we can get dive even deeper, you know, when we're talking about, let's say for instance, um, uh, Facebook, okay? We share an, um, an abundance of information, personal information. Me personally, you know, I, I don't share much information on the internet, but, but there are people that I see that literally give the entire life. They might as well put their social security up there for the entire world to see. Okay, so um, this information that we put on the internet, it is trusted by a third party. Okay, right. so okay. The, the 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 security of that is by fault flawed because right, right. that median is is essentially a human, another human being. And we're prone to okay. error, of course. Yeah, we so are prone to error, right? So so this blockchain, being that it's on a network. I'm assuming everybody's able to validate the blockchain, you know, like, is there? Exactly. Okay, exactly. Okay, so I was going to get in for a detail with that as we move on. But the thing is that, uh, that you know, we must pay attention to is, like you said, humans make mistakes. Okay. You know, we're prone to it, even if, if it's um, malicious or not. We, we make mistakes. That's the natural, you know, of nature. It's just there, right? But the thing is, what technology gave us not, not even just blockchain here. Technology gave us the separation, okay, from this, this human error aspect. Not to say that, that technology don't have its, 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 its own errors, but in, in, in relation um, to this um, uh, error factor, it can be eliminated right. and almost mutually, like completely uh, destroyed as far as. Um, creating errors we could buy code so this code structurally made you know in blockchain which makes it secure by design and it's put in there in place and it's only built on it over time over time right through right. the original coding of it it's without the flaw of the error right or or malicious um attacks you know that we see through regular third party entities Right. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, you and I are both aware that a cold wallet is a lot safer than like a, is it a hot wallet? Is that what you would call a wallet? That's like a Coinbase wallet. So yes. Yes. So what makes, so, so if there is the blockchain and all the blocks um, validate the information that's on the other blocks that they're connected to, what Mm -hmm. makes like a Coinbase wallet less secure than a cold wallet? Because I, I mean, in theory, it should always be validated by the other blocks on the chain, correct? Um, so I'm, I don't quite understand your, your question, but I think I understand. Um, at the same time, like, like this cold wallet that's stored on uh, this exchange, we now we still are back at the same path that we were already or on by design originally. And that's a that third party, right? That, that um, exchange is still prone to error by default, oh, malicious so, or not. Okay, gotcha. so, you're, so, so, you're, so Coinbase mm-hmm. is still sort of a third party uh, in that scenario, right? Is that what you're saying? It, yes. It, it, okay. It, if, if we're talking about wallets, okay, and, and, that, and that's what we're talking about here with cold storage and, and um, uh, hot, and hot uh, wallet, right? Yep. So, yeah, for me personally, and I think, you know, we already discussed this, right? Is you really want to put it on a cold storage, right? So you actually have those physical um, uh, uh, codes mm-hmm. on your person, okay? Where it's only trusted by the original owner, 
okay? So cold storage, you know, is the safest uh, way to store your your long-term hold cryptos. That makes sense. Because the, the point of weakness is not the blockchain itself. It's the exchange or the app in which you're holding the coin in. Um, yeah, simple answer, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, like, what, uh, what, like, aspects beyond cryptocurrency um do you think we will end up utilizing blockchain technology for like i've heard mention of of like maybe using it for voting in elections or um like backing mm-hmm. mortgages with crypto with uh blockchain technology or, or stuff like that like what are your thoughts about that stuff this is one of the reason why i wanted to talk about this is because um honestly you know we're at a pivot and change, okay, as the way we um, interact with the entire world, okay. Um, blockchain literally opens the door for um, transactions um, across the world in 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 in, in speeds and time that you know have never seen before. We can um, absolutely the, the the possibilities. Honestly, it's 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 it's, it's endless. Okay, right. um, uh, you, you know, we just talked about Facebook. Uh, the thing is that when you know, because right now uh, they're trying um, to, um, um, you know, come out with the Web 3.0, um, and that, and you know, and that's in you know, pretty much in development, and uh, you know, with the blockchain 3.0 and all. Um, uh, but the, the the problem right now is uh, the transaction. Uh, Per second, uh, or better known as uh, uh, um, T, uh, T, TPS. Okay, so um, just to give you guys, you know, kind of some uh, reference, you know, uh, right now uh, Bitcoin um, has about seven TPS. Okay, or a hundred. I'm sorry, four hundred twenty um, uh, per minute. Okay, mm-hmm. so these are transactions per minute. Okay, so a credit card company or Visa uh, does about twenty four. Thousand TPS or 1.4 million per minute. Wow! Okay. wow. Ethereum, okay, does uh, anywhere um, between 10 and 25. Um, some say 25, some say 10 TPS. Okay, so um, uh, ETH, ETH 2.0 ring, um, is around 100,000 TPS. Okay, so that's where we're pushing it towards right now. Um, the Meta, or formerly known as uh, Facebook. Um, does roughly around 175,000 TPS, okay? And that's a request. So every time, you know, you click a button, you know, it, that's a request, you know, as you um, um, send, you know, information back and forth amongst the network of Meta, okay? So um, right now that is the dilemma, okay? Because um, Bitcoin, um, it's... Pretty much, um, as far as my understanding, um, it's pretty much capped right now, you know, under 10 around that area. Um, so some people, that's why, you know, you previously, you know, heard, you know, um, everyone talking about the gold 2.0, okay? So a, a, a store of value, okay? Because this, you're not gonna be tr- um, doing a bunch of transactions, sending Bitcoin back and forward to uh, buy your new car or, you know, purchase this home or uh, not even purchase a home because you do that you know, every once in a while. But, but daily transactions, that you won't see Bitcoin being used as that fashion. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's okay. a store of value. Gotcha. Okay. So if we, in relation, look at Visa, Visa is doing 24,000 TPS, right? So um, if... If there come a day, which will, you know, with, with blockchain 3.0, mm-hmm. you know, the web 3.0, when we get to that, to, you know, area, you know, in, in time, we can it then, will. you know, it will, absolutely. Yeah. And, and then <laughs> that's, that's when you literally going to be opening the door <laughs> to Pandora right. box, right? And, and, and it, it, we're talking about change amongst um, almost every entity, um, you know, from like, you know, you just talked about, you know, the, the medical field, you know, um, you know, uh, um, devoting, um, uh, even think about this, even uh, let's, let's say um, you, you have more um, EV cars on the road, okay? Um, let's say um, I'm running late to my, to my job, okay? Um, maybe, 
I'm going to pay a token uh, to go 10 miles uh, faster per hour. Mm. Okay. So I, like I, I, I am let. I would abuse that. I'm not going to lie. So, so, but, but here's the thing is, uh, the, the way I see it is, is there's going to be a, a, a give and a, um, um, a get kind of thing. So right. uh, if you're giving um, too much of your uh, speed tokens, for how you say that, speed tokens, <laughs> yeah. um, you're going to be needing to replace that with something else because you're going to be needing to trade for something else. Maybe it's, it's, a, it's almost like a balance work, you know, the right. way I kind of see it in the future. Yeah. Um, yeah. And and, and and that, that kind of technology literally it it, it opens up um, uh, even goes deeper and that you know is you know as Which, far as the group right mm -hmm. and, and, and what you're about to talk about is exactly what I want to get into next like if you don't mind me asking you know we're talking about like the adoption of this you know um, what do you feel is like the bottleneck for widespread you know adoption of this <laughs> I mean I, I, it, I heard it, Venezuela rightly, they just what. You know, it's their national currency now, right? Bitcoin is right. You know, they're 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 using it on their ledgers. So I mean, like, what's stop Some them, would you know, say they're jumping the gun. Them. You know, yeah, <laughs> it's, I mean, little, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's it's very early. I'm gonna say this is very early. Um, um, I don't know what they're seeing. Um, you know, but 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 if they're seeing something, you know, um, that you know the 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 rest of the world isn't, um, then they're uh, obviously ahead of the the game. Okay, um, right. and and and. I did mention this, you know, um, uh, before, you know, uh, if that's the case, um, you know, 20 years from now, Venezuela may be a, a completely turned around country. Okay. Um, but as far I as like, about, I can't imagine. And, and it's, it that is hard wild. to imagine. Absolutely. Right. Right. Um, the bottleneck. Right. right. Yeah. So the bottleneck, um, I would say. Is, is it uh, a fear? The, like, like, like. It, you know, it, I don't That's know if I'm explaining gonna, the bottleneck mm -hmm. right. Like, is it a fear or is it like the inability to actually adopt it? Like, you know, like use, use the it, blockchain. It, honestly, the I think it comes down to uh, the regulations. Okay. And a lot of people, especially uh, in the early in the year, we start to see a lot of, you know, um, uh, the, 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 the chain of command stuff, you know, the people in the, in, you know, in, in, the, in the houses, you know, the buy houses are talking more about, you know, the, 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 um, the crypto world, right? Um, a lot of people saw it as, um, uh, oh, they should not be, you know, uh, getting into this. They shouldn't, you know, blah, 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 this and that, you know, back and forth. A lot of pushback. Honestly, I see it as a great thing, okay? With regulation, Okay, it opens the door for um, this adoption that, that that needs to happen. Okay, and it will happen over a you know a, a, a progression of of uh, steps that need to take place in order for scalability to see it unfold the way it should, and and, and that's where you're going to have the adoption come through. It's going to be mainly through the regulations, right? There are a lot of entities that cannot, you know, um, physically um, touch this uh, type of, um, um, uh, especially when we're talking about cryptocurrencies, right? They cannot touch this 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 um, technology, all right, without having uh, regulations step in first. So that's where I see, you know, the the first bottleneck is um, having that take place first. Okay, and then um, the the mass adoption, and then the scalability. Okay, that's going to be the next thing. Is is it something that can be scalable, right? Um, you know, we can talk about it all day, but in in actual um, um, use, I believe so. Um, but it, it's just going to be something where um, it starts off honestly through regulations. Which I see is a good thing, and I'm happy to see that you know that that um, that they're actually talking about this. That was the first thing, you know. So it's just it, it's steps. Honestly, it's just steps that we need to get back past first. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah, and you know, the, you know, the threats, you know, from regulations was was going to be one of our next questions. You know, I just mm -hmm. that's that's honestly what I'm interested most. You know, in adopting this blockchain. Or, or you know and or crypto um you know in mass it, it's the adoption from you know these central banks it's the adoption from the third parties that you know facilitate you know taxing on you know said things um you know and that's 
that's what I was wondering, you know, like how, how antsy are they to regulate this stuff? Like, do you think they got something cooking or do you think it's something they're just more so closely watching in the meantime? No, I, I honestly, I think that they're um, actively looking into it um, under, under closed doors. Um, and the reason why um, I, I do believe that uh, if they're not, it is a security threat, a national security threat. Okay. If they're not. Um, <laughs> if they're not, yeah, because um, <laughs> if they're not doing that, okay, um, and, and if, if, if another country um, realizes that this is something of the future and can potentially, when I'm talking about Bitcoin and its cryptocurrencies, and this, you know, this network, right, the, the right. entire the network. network. Right. If this isn't something, um, um, then no worries. But if it is, Okay, then um, the government of the U.S. We, 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 we are, they will be behind the curve, and that can that, that's not something that the United States should, uh, ha, you know, be in the same sentence. Right, right, <laughs> right. right, right. Okay, okay. Yeah. So um, that's what I mean by um, a national security um, issue. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, what are some stocks that people can watch that are associated with blockchain? Um, you have Riot, Mara. Those are your, you know, your typical ones that you hear most often. Coin. Yeah. Right. Um, I've been actively, actually, more recently um, in MSTR. Yeah. Um, Michael Strategy, right? Um, Michael Saylor. Um, just kind of been using that. Um, Mainly, um, it, like, you know, if I feel like, you know, um, if I'm bearish on, on be it, uh, BTC, right, um, you know, then I'll take a, um, a bearish position while maintaining my long-term um, Bitcoin and hedge, you know, um, my portfolio or something like that, you know. Um, but, yeah, so you have Riot, Mar. Coin, um, like I said, M MS, uh, TR. Um, I'm sure I'm missing a few. Um, so, how do you feel personally about uh, like crypto ETFs? Is there a scenario where you might buy the ETF over a coin itself, or do you think it's better to just go right to the source and just buy the coin? It depends on my usage of the said coin. Mm. Okay, so if we're talking about uh, Bitcoin, right. Um, if I'm looking at a store value, I would want to hold the physical coin itself. Right. Okay. Because we all know right now that, that there is a limited um, supply. Okay. I want to hold the physical coin. Right. Right. Um, if, you know, if we're talking about a basket of, um, of said type of coins, let's say uh, coins in a metaverse. Okay. That's an mm -hmm. ETF. Mm, th that may be appealing to me. Right. You know, okay. I, I mean, I want to go and diversify in, in, in all these um, different type of coins. Right. I can just, you know, purchase the ETF instead. Right. It's almost like, I mean, me like asking the question kind of even made me think of it. It's almost like you're taking the the best part of crypto, which is the blockchain and getting rid of that and investing in ETFs. You know what I mean? So I, I guess thinking of it that way, it's it's almost almost always better to just buy the coin itself on a blockchain when we're talking about the the foundation of it all okay so uh bitcoin ethereum okay these networks or the the foundation of you know of these other coins that are built off of it okay so if i don't have uh, bitcoin or ethereum in my portfolio I'm not buying any of these other coins or any of these other coin assets into my portfolio first. Okay. You have to hold the main asset and those are the ones that you want to hold first before you start diversifying in all these other coins. Right. Um, right. They're like the, they're the core. Exactly. If you think of the tree trunk and the, 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 the branches that comes afterwards, if that trunk is chopped down, the, the other branches are not going to thrive. Right. That's a good way to put it. 
but if it loses a branch or two, trees are right. 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 Because right. yeah. that, that tree can 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 still thrive. It can um repair it in, in, in something even better that 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 branch did not work out can come something forward even better, you know? Right, right. So so when you're talking about like different branches, like there's thousands of different blockchains. I mean, I could that's safe to say, right? I mean, that's technically what each different cryptocurrency is right like it's its own blockchain right like can you yes. compare the mm -hmm. the bitcoin blockchain to the ethereum if so like what's faster you know what i mean like like but, out, but, out, but out that, of that's what i went over the the tps right this transaction okay. per second you know so ethereum uh, let's just say it's at 25 so 25 tps okay so um bitcoin right now is at seven okay so the, um th that's why the is you know lots of people even i view bitcoin as a store of value it's essentially if you think about the hard asset of gold right okay, right the physical gold is tangible okay it, but you don't want to go off, you don't want to go off and spend it and use it a lot which is why you would use the ethereum blockchain because it's you know, faster. it's faster. Right. Yeah, but, but okay. even even Ethereum, like, um, it it has some bumpy, you know, roads and hiccups that it needs to get over. And and you know, Ethereum 2.0. You know, if, if we're pushing you know 100 K, we could get that even better. You know, because um, if you know, you, and Meta right now is doing nearly 200 thousand TPS per sec, you know, to, um, uh, transaction per second or request per second. Okay. So we need something that can match that, you know, and, um, and, and, and replace that in, in that. And that's why I'm getting to it. Even the, the blockchain, it opens up the doors to so much. When right. the, the social media can be implemented on blockchain. Okay. What happened with in, um, Facebook? You know, I uh, can't remember what year, or whatever. You know, with all, with, with all the, the 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 data breach, right? All this yep. information that was just released, right? And all this, um, like we said, people put so much on the internet, right? The blockchain it, it changes that. That cannot lo no longer happen. It makes it safer. Absolutely. So, well, you know, speaking of safer, though back to this whole wallet talk that you were having earlier is a hard wallet is that safer is it like you know to keep your stake in the blockchain on you know your cryptocurrency on rather than having it in what, what did y'all call it a, a cold wallet so you have a cold wallet in a, in a hot wallet a hot wallet is um something that's on the exchange a cold wallet um sits in my cabinet you know in a lock safe right so, but something to look into, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about getting one, just wanted your part, you know, your take on it. Um, hey, they, they, you're they surprising are me right now. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm going to need a breather. Oh, he's, he's, he's you're making really a believer of him right now, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're very convincing. I mean, uh, look, if, if I had that type of influence on you, then I, I feel very honored. Hey, you should, you should. <laughs> And uh, also, Tim. just just sorry, just as like a, a side note, out of curiosity, I looked up the TPS of Solana, which is like one of kind of the top ones that I'm watching. Bitcoin, yes. Ethereum, and Solana. Solana's TPS is 65,000. So mm -hmm. way faster than Ethereum and Bitcoin, which I think is why people are saying it would be a good one for gaming across the board for all like microtransactions, <clears throat> et cetera. Right, but, uh, right. Just a fun, yeah, fun little note for you. <laughs> but these these are all hiccups, right? Um, as I talk about the scalability, um, this is we, uh, as far as crypto and blockchain, we are so early. This is very very early, right? Um, but at the same time, look how far we have came over the past twenty years with with this, you know the, the the development of the internet. You know that it, things have changed so rapidly. Okay, and and um, uh, what was you know easily told to me at one time a while back is the, the farther we advance in time through technology, okay, the the growth is exponentially gr like ch the change rate. It's it's mind blowing. Right. So the is. further we move in time, the faster we it, the, these 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 new technology and and how things get better through the development of technology. 
right. in the blockchain, really, it's going to open that door. To, I mean, to be almost like a um, a catapult. Right. So if you can imagine 20 years that took that long with blockchain, in 10 years, 15 years, we can see twice as much. Right. We're going to be, we're gonna be on Mars with the blockchain. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, why, why not? Yeah, yeah, why not? Hey, um, so I guess that uh, just about wraps it up here, folks. Uh, we really appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, stay safe out there um, and have a happy set of decentralized holidays. Yeah, that reminds me, Tim. Ooh, uh, I, like I got, that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I got a little something for you, though, Tim. Is it a Bitcoin? Uh, no, no. Uh, um, unlike, uh, yeah, no, I know. Unlike the blockchain, though, uh, I'm not made of theoretical money. Well, close, though. Um, it is a JPEG. You mean an NFT? I said what I said. Uh, okay. I guess we'll have to save that for another episode, I guess. Special thanks to our research team, our producers, our audio and video production team, our editor, and our team lead, TJ. Thank you.